So today we will be learning how to solve systems of equations by substitution. Now we've done solving systems of equations by graphing, and that's wherever the, two, the graphs of the two lines of the equations intersect, and that is the solution to that, the, that system of equations. That just gives us a good approximation. Here we will find out exact numbers that solve these equations. All right, so let's just take one of them by, you know, for an example. So I'm going to take what's listed as problem 13 here. Y equals negative 8X, and then Y equals negative 3X plus 10. What we are going to do is we are going to substitute one equation into the other. What I would do is I would take this one, Y equals negative 8X. So if I say that y is negative 8x, I can put substitute this negative 8x for y. So I could rewrite this negative 8x equals negative 3x plus 10. I simply took this, since these are both equal to y, these are both equal to each other. Now I can solve for x. So I'm going to move everything with an x to one side, everything not an x to the other side. So I have negative 3x plus 10 here. I'm going to add 3x to both sides. This drops off. Negative 8x plus 3x is negative 5x, and I'm left with 10. Then I'm going to isolate that x. This drops off, so I'm left with x equals 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. So I'm halfway there. I found the x value, value of my ordered pair. The answer is going to be an ordered pair. So what value of x and what value of y make both equations true? So what I can do now is take x equal negative 2, substitute it back into one of these equations. It doesn't matter which one. I like to choose the simpler one. So I'm going to choose y equals negative 8x, and I'm going to put negative 2 in for your x. So let's write it out so that we don't get confused. y equals negative 8 times negative 2. I just substituted the negative 2 in. Now, 8 times 2 is 16. Negative times negative is a positive. So my y is... 16 when my x is negative 2. I am going to write that as an ordered pair. Now what happens if one or both of the equations isn't put into a nice form like this? Let's look at an example of that. Let's look at number 26 here. We have y equals 6x and then negative 4x plus 4y equals 0. So one of them is already solved for one of the variables. So that means wherever y appears in the next one, I can put in this 6x. So I'm going to write it out so that you can see. I'm taking the second equation, negative 4x plus 4 times whatever this is. I'm just substituting this in for the y. 4 times 6x equals 0. Now I'm going to do my PEMDAS. I have to multiply this together first. So let's just rewrite the negative 4x plus 4 times 6x is 24x equals 0. So now I am going to combine these. I have a negative 4x and a 24x, and I get 20x equals 0. I am going to divide both sides by 20. x equals 0. So when I have my ordered pair, my x is going to be 0. Now I'm going to substitute that into either one of these original equations. So let's pick the easiest one. y equals 6x. If I put 0 in for x, y equals 6 times 0, or in other words, y equals 0. So the solution to that system of equations is 0, 0. That means the only time that these two graphs will be true together is if x equals 0 
and y equals zero. Now I'll go practice. <laughs>